Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video. It's about aloe vera. A lot of us know the benefits, some of us don't. So I decided to make a quick video real quick to show you how to fillet uh, aloe vera because most of us see the organic aloe vera and we don't know what to do with it. You know, we see it in the supermarket and we'll be like, you know what, it's too much work. So I've decided to make a quick video to show you guys it's really not that difficult or hard like people would think. You know, it's easier to just buy the organic one and you go home and you fillet it yourself and you could use it for multi-purpose, whether you want to make a face mask, you want to use it for your skin, you want to put it in your hair, like a moisturizer and, you know, steam it. Women do stuff like that. And um, also, like for me personally, um, you know, I cut it, I use it for, as a medicine and I mix it with other things. Um, it's, it's really a superfood. It's good for multiple things. So it's pretty much up to the user what they want it for. But I'll say, you know what, aloe vera, is all around have good benefits so like always thank you guys for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe and listen if you like this video just give a big thumbs up and if you have any questions any questions at all do not hesitate to comment hit that comment box let me know what you think any questions and I'll respond to you as soon as I get a chance like always Thank you for watching my video. Peace and love. Guys, uh, here we go. Quick vid. Um, as you can see, organic aloe vera. This is it. So, uh, first step, what I'm going to do have my knife here it's always you get the edges first I don't know it depends on some people they don't want to get rid of too much because apparently there's still jelly inside of it but and then after you get the the edges I'm gonna show you this doesn't take long at all quite simple and safe I would say I you know you just got to be careful when you're using the knife not to hurt yourself but once you get the edges everything else is quite easy As you can see, it's not really a technique, you know, it's just pretty much just cutting it. But for me, you have a choice. You could use the knife to fillet it, just get the top levels off, or you could use this right here. So, you know what I mean, it's up to you. To me personally, I think it's safer to use this one. This is how I do it. A lot of people don't know this, but here we go. I know it might look difficult, but it's not really that difficult, you know? Once you get a hang of it, you just kind of slide it all the way through. It's very, very slippery, like very slippery. Oh, so I'm not gonna say it's not slippery because it is. But you know what? Even though it's so slippery, at the end of the day, I believe it's worth it, you know? No, and, and it's not the clean, cleansiest job there is, but you know what? Put get a little bit of that jelly out there. It's worth it to me, you know? A lot of people would probably say, no, I don't want to be going through this, it's too much, and all that stuff. 
I said, you know what? I go by the benefit. Yeah. Oh, jelly everywhere. For me, it's about the safety. Because um, the reason why I choose to use this, you know, spatula thingy, because using the knife, if you're not careful, that's why I try to show you guys to use like something like this. You know, it's, it's a little bit more difficult. See, once you get a hang of it, you know, you'll get the jelly. But it's, it's just like, you know, you need a practice, you know. And before you know it, you become an expert. Now, here you go. This is the jelly. This is really what you want. You know what I mean? It might seem like a lot of work, but the benefit, trust me, I would do this all day just to get this little benefit. Put it in the container. Um, if there's any more on it, you know, you could keep, you know, scraping. You know, try to get your money's worth. So even though you get most of it, you still could almost get, you know, the rest of the jelly. But yeah, a lot of people might might think this is like, you know, not very, you know, good. They can't, you know, their stomach is not strong to deal with all this jelly, aka slime everywhere. But. You just gotta be strong. If it's healthy and it's good for you, why not, you know? It's a little bit still on here, this one. And you know, I don't really wanna waste any of it, so. Kinda scrape off as much as I can. Scoop it up on my thing. Add it in there. And um, yeah, that's it guys right there there you have it I know people might say it's a dirty job but you know what to me personally the benefit is worth it so for one aloe vera you get this much so if you want to do your hair or anything like that you need a few so all you need to do is just repeat the same process that I just did right now you could crush it you can put it in the blender. There's tons of ways that you can do it. It's basically whatever is easier for me, for you. You know, for me, it's about safety. So as long as you, you can, you know, take out the jelly safely, I say go for it. You know, whether you want to use a knife or a spoon or a spatula or whatever, it's all about safety because you don't want to hurt yourself because it's so slippery. Like always, Big thumbs up and like button. Look at this. This is the knife hand or the spatula hand. And this is the hand that has to get a little bit dirty. Um, for some people, if you don't want to get all slimy like this, you could use the gloves. Me personally, I do not recommend using a gloves because you already know, using the gloves is gonna be even more slippery and you could have an accident. You know, you don't want that. So safety first, people. Remember, aloe vera, multiple benefit. Remember that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.